Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to the new update video. I know it looks super weird with like the hoodie plus the earphones on the outside, but this is, I, I swear to God, this feels super comfortable. Like it's, it's crazy, crazy cold in Canada. And I have my like windows slightly open a little bit because I, I, I want to have like a little bit of fresh air in my room, but it's, it's making my room quite cold. But uh, if I if I wear a hoodie like this and then like have the earphones on top, it, it, it just makes my, my head so super warm. Like it just it feels so good. You, have, you guys have no idea. Um, <laughs> but anyways, my uh, this is my update video. I, I wanted to talk a little bit about the new update um, and also like the new monsters to kind of do like a um a, a bit of a review on them so we're going to start with the the uh well actually there's a new event as well the, these are this is actually a pretty good event it's a really short event it only lasts like five days um and basically it just wants you to like use as much energy as possible you just have to like buy the energy pack or, or like use your astrogems to refill energy um 50 times and then you can complete that event so basically if you just continue farming for like all these these few days um you should be able to complete the event there is also going to be a new uh there's there's going to be a heroes fest coming back very very soon and yeah i guess, I guess heroes fest is pretty good um well, well there's there's a new rebirth fest there's a new rebirth monster the new rebirth monster is also very very nice as well so we'll we'll take a look at the new rebirth monster as well as a new event monster um yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely really, really exciting. Okay, so uh, first things first, we're going to take a look at the old event monster, um, the Jack. Wait, I clicked the wrong thing. So I, I actually started playing MSL about a year ago. Well, actually about probably like exactly a year ago now. Maybe in a few days, it'll be like exactly a year. Um, but anyways, I... I started playing last year around the time that the Jack event first came out and people hated this, this event because the, the catch rates were super, super bad. I don't know how bad it was compared to like the Sarah, like the Sarah event we had just now, but the, the catch rate of this event was like, was, was, it was so hard. Like you guys have no idea. Um, another key thing was the, the Golems B10 in the past used to be a lot harder than it is now. The reason for that is because the old golem has a lot of resistance. So, you know, for nowadays, there's a lot of people running sappers for B10. Um, it wasn't a viable strategy back in the day. So you kind of had to use aggressors. And the best thing you could do is actually use um, like light Nikes. And there was a light Nike dungeon the first month that the, fir the game first came out. And then you basically you just pair up that your free light, free Nike and your, um, and the dungeon like from the dungeon and you pair up like a pair her up with a passive healer and you basically just win the game um you just straight out win the game and they introduced the dark jack um i'll actually talk about the dark one first they introduced the dark jack shortly after and um the dark jack had like a much much lower catch rate than the light one so i i wasn't even able to catch one um back in the day during the time that these these were out and a lot of people wanted this monster because she was the only other passive healer besides the um, the water purse at the time and the water purse was considered like the best monster ever she kind of still is if you have her um she makes your progression really really easy like she just she allows you to skip so much content if you have her because you can just you just abuse like the fact that she just heals non-stop um for a shit ton and then you just you just live through um a whole bunch of dungeons it like where in usual cases like your monster stats would not be able to handle it unless you have very very good gems but if you have like a water purse or a passive healer you're kind of able to abuse that now that being said this monster i think um the dark jack is still very very nice for um especially i think it's actually better now for newer players that well i can't i have to be a little bit careful with that not not extremely new players but like players that have been farming b7 to b9 for a while and are looking towards farming b10 um this monster is going to be very very good because she first of all she's a passive healer she has the five percent heal of her max hp and she's also a tank um out of i think out of all the passive healers she has the highest base hp i could be wrong i'm not i'm not sure if she has higher hp than the gemini um, but she, basically, she has extremely high HP, decently high defense, so she's she's relatively tanky. Like, her effective HP is also very, very high, um, due to her defense being, like, 2,300, not, like, below 2,000. So, she's she's definitely quite tanky. 
um, and she has a passive heal. And now that the Golem has much lower resistance, Sap is very, very good against Golem. It has a 50% chance to Sap, um, to land two types of Sap for two turns. Now, this isn't the best um, activation rate, but it's still pretty good. Like, it's still, it's still pretty decent. So, um, she's a really, really good monster for players that are moving into B10. And she's also a really good monster for players who have basically just started the game. Like, if you, if you basically just get one of her, and build her, um, you'll be able to, you'll be able to do like, you know, B8, B7, B9, B10, no problem. Like you can use her for all those dungeons. Um, and like, I think a lot of players, if you're starting out like super early, you might struggle on the higher floors of like star zones and like the elemental dungeons. Um, with her being a dark monster, you can actually use her in, in all the elemental dungeons. So basically you just have to give her like the be your best HP gems and she'll be a really, really good healer, really good tank and um, able to provide a bit of sap, which is really, really good for, for dungeons. Um, yeah, you can sap all the bosses in dungeons, so she's a really nice monster for progression. I would highly recommend um, any any newer player grab one of her. For players that are like as progressed as me, like she's completely like a hundred percent useless. But I'll I'll still try to build one because you know she's a cute lolly, right? It's it's uh it's worth. Um, yeah, just just for collection purposes, I'll try I'll still try to build one. Um, the other thing is the 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 light one. Um, the light one is actually really really good for I think even for a late game because she's she's got really nice farming skills. Like she's got a morale boost hunter. She's basically the light version of a dark Mona, um, but slightly less um, you know slightly less crit damage. I think about thirty percent less crit crit damage, but has ten percent more crit. So and she's light, so she's a different element. Uh, there's actually an advantage to her being light instead of dark. The the meta in in Astromon League has been well, actually, it's it's been like this for quite a long time. Um, but it's it's kind of not as popular because there's a lot of really good light attackers recently as well, like the the light Sarah, um, the light um, the light Birdie who's on Rebirth as well as ha has like a similar skill set to her. And now that she's she's back, I think the meta is going to shift a little bit because uh, what was what has been happening for the past few months is a lot of people in PvP have been running like a full dark team. Um, full dark teams are really really nice because they have higher crit damage, and they basically just run dark nukers like really really aggressive nukers. Uh, and they've been introducing quite a lot of them from previous events, rebirths, and packages. So there's like the Dark Mona, the Dark Atito. Um, you know, Dark Mona was, was for rebirth a, a few months back. Um, Dark Atito was an event. It was actually an event twice. So a lot of people have like multiple Katitos if you were playing for a long time. Um, and p players that have played during that time have at least one Katito. The, the third thing is there's... Um, there's... There was the Mari, uh, she, she was a package monster, so a lot of people have her as well. And basically like all these are like are like morale boost or battle rush um, attackers, or dark attackers with hunter, or dark attackers with like, you know, like elemental edge or um, predator or anything like that, that has like some sort of damage amplification. Um, and if you're lucky, you have like Dark Moonflower. Um, they also introduced the Dark Lat, who has Hunter on his second skill. And there's also the Dark um, Dark Sarah, who was a event, um, who was last month's event. So there's a lot of Dark attackers. And what's been happening is a lot of people, you'll probably see this in PvP quite a lot. Um, a lot of people run like Dark Attacker comps on offense, and it basically counters like 90% of all the defenses because basically the, the dark attackers abuse the fact that they have higher crit damage so they can be like like extremely offensive uh, like they have no resist but like high crit damage um, and they basically you just go in you abuse, you abuse the fact that in PvP you go first and you just you just kill something straight out and it becomes like 4v4 um, and a lot of times like even if they happen to, it, it happens pretty rarely, but sometimes like they kill one of your units and then you with the three remaining units kill like one of their units and then it becomes like a 3v3 
and then it's like hard for the three units to kill one of your dark units and then you just kill another one on the on the next turn and you basically you just win um so a lot of people have been building teams that counter that and the the, the ways that the way you kind of counter counter the dark um attacker offense is you use light monsters you use like light monsters that have threat so uh there's a lot of free monsters that actually have this like light nike and light um you know, Light Odin, who was given for free, and then there's, like, the Light Shiva, who we can fuse. So, a lot of people are running, like, a full Light Defense, and that actually um, does decently well against the Dark Attacker comps. If the if the comp isn't, like, really perfect, um, you can use, like, a Light Attacker, you know, a Light light comp because dark monsters although they have extra damage against light monsters it's very very hard to kill these like super tanky nat fives like the shiva and the odin um so it becomes you kind of like they they either go all out and try to kill one of you guys on first turn and then on second turn there's a very high chance that you kill one of them and then on this on their second turn they don't have enough attack to kill one of your units and then you kind of just uh like try to bruise them out and and win the fight um, or something like that. So that's it's one of the strategies that um, some people use to counter the dark attacker comps. And now as a as a result, I actually realized that um, well I, I don't know I I've I've been seeing it um, I, I think since the Sarah because a lot of people have been capturing like multiple Sarahs. They might be running like two light Sarahs on on offense. So a lot of times, like I see, um, like when I see people hit my defense, um, I see a mix of dark and light attacker offenses now, and I think the the full light attacker offense is also like coming into meta as well. The the good thing about using like a full light attacker offense is because is is that um, you ha you have the bonus damage. So like a lot of times on first turn, you're still able to kill them, but since they don't have the elemental advantage, they're aggressors. Uh, might not have enough damage to kill one of your units straight out on first turn. So on their first turn, and then on second turn, you have four units to attack one of their um, their units, and then you you have a very high chance if if your light attackers are built really well um, to basically just kill another unit, and then it becomes like four v three, and you you win the fight. Or if something dies on the second turn. Um, and then you 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 basically you fight them three v three, but they already lost a little bit of HP. So in most cases you win. So I think like light attackers are kind of coming into meta as well. So I think like having multiple of her, especially if you don't have a lot of Sarahs or a lot of birdies. But I think she's perfectly replaceable. Like you don't necessarily need to have a lot of her, but I think she's definitely the best one because um, well actually it's situational because. I think Elemental Edge is better than Hunter, but if you have her with like max crit, she might be better because Hunter does more damage only on crits. So like overall d damage, Elemental Edge has more, but if you have her like on 100% crit, I think Hunter does more damage. Um, the other thing is she's she's a 30% morale booster versus the Battle Rush. So she's definitely stronger than the Birdie, but the Sarah has another, um, like if you, Sarah from the last, last, uh, event um has the battle rush instead so you can kind of pair her up with like team morale boosters to try to get her bar full on second turn and then nuke with this skill and and kind of just win the fight so i think there's there's a lot of cool things you can do with this monster um if you're like a player that has progressed a little bit i would definitely try to grab a few and with as many square slots as possible and also if you're a new player and you don't have like a farming monster she's she's going to be very very excellent um, for farming because just something you can use for farming story maps because you can sh since she's a light monster um and you're you're going you're moving on to like dragons before um if if you can get her with like three square slots then you can actually build her with like like really early on you can just use like two crit gems on siphon to push her crit to 100 percent and then one attack and that should actually allow you to farm like all of first continent um i'm not sure if you can get a full completely full bar on on one attack that's something you you're, you might have to test out yourself but i know that her 
her um like her attack should be able to one shot everything on the first continent even with just one attack gem if on a crit if she has 100% crit it's going to be very very easy to get her to 100% crit because she's also light um the other thing is you can also go with like crit double attack it's much easier to gem her up with 100% crit on crit double attack um because of the fact that she's light so that's another thing man i spent like 10 minutes talking about this light jack um but yeah, she's a she's a she's a really good monster. Um, the variant color looks super weird, but it it does look quite nice as well. I don't like the pumpkin pumpkin being blue, but I I, I like her clove color. All right, that's that's pretty much it for the for the jacks. Um, the other thing is the the new monsters. Um, the dance dance revolution monsters I'll, I'll go into i'll use the support monsters so we can all see their animation later but i'll, I'll do a review of them first so this is the what are they called kana yes this is the kana um her evil three stats are wait this this one's this one's the no all right this one's this one's just no like the, the petrify no just just no they need to they need to fix sleep and petrify and all that shit like they need to like buff petrify somehow. I don't I don't know how they can buff petrify. Like like maybe they're like you know, during the petrify you can't attack them, but like next turn they're like armor broken or something. That would be pretty nice. Just like they need to buff petrify a little bit cuz like petrify is so much weaker than stun and shock. Um it has no practical use. There used to be a practical use for Petrify in Dragon's V10, but it was like a very old strategy. Um, that strategy is no longer as good. All right, well, we'll talk about the water one first. Now, this is a Titan's monster. Like this is this is a hundred percent a Titan's monster. Um, she's all right on PvP defense as well. She's basically the same as a Wood Leo. A lot of people don't know this. But uh, Wood Leo, the re reason why um, people use Wood Leo on defense, well, there's actually four reasons. First of all, he's, he's got very sta very good stats for Nat 4, um, pretty balanced, so he's quite tanky. He's a decent amount of attack, so he does provide a little bit of threat. He also has the HP lead. Um, Skill-wise, he's the same as the Water Kana, but the Water Kana actually has an 80% defense down, which is superior to the Wood Leo. Um, but the reason why you see Wood Leo a lot on PvP defense is because, first of all, he does a lot of hits. And second of all, um, he has higher blue soul generation. Like, all monsters actually have different blue soul generation. And um, because he's doing more hits, he first of all, he generates more blue souls. And if he gets blue souls, he gets a higher percent percentage of um, blue soul generation. So, basically, he's able to get his bar faster versus um, a lot of other monsters. I don't know if there's a chart for like blue soul generation or like how many hits a monster has i know there's a chart for animation speed that i use that all the time it's kind of what i care about like farm speed and stuff but this is you know a lot of people actually use him because he he can get the bar his bar full um, a little bit faster and get his allies bar full a little bit faster because of the um you know more number of hits as well plus the higher blue soul generation so but i don't know if um I don't know if the Water Kana has like as good um, blue soul generation as the as the Leo, but skill wise she's definitely better, and stat wise she's um, she's better for Titans. I think she's like much stronger for Titans. Like her, her stats are fully like purely defensive, so she's going to be a really nice utility monster. She'll be able to survive really well in Titans, and she has a higher activation rate on her skill. So this, this is actually really really nice. Um, just. Like she's she's a top tier Titans monster. Just that's that's all I can say. Or, or Titans like support monster. Um, the Wood one's actually a really strong Titans monster as well. She's a courageous striker. Courageous strikers are insanely strong for Titans. Like if I if I had to compare the two, I would say she's stronger. Um, plus she also has the attack down. This is kind of weak compared to the Dark Chloe and the um, the Water Indra. But she is like. She is still very strong. Like just just having the courageous strike alone makes her extremely OP. I don't know why my music stopped. Um, but she requires crit as well, so you kind of need to build her with a high crit in order to make her work. So she's slightly harder to gem. Stat wise, she's um, balanced type, which is perfect for courageous strikers. Like you actually want courageous strikers to be balanced because most courageous strikers you actually build them attack, HP, defense. 
uh, just to, so they can survive a little bit, and then the attack so they can do a little bit more damage. Um, for her, you might want to go like HP, um, crit rate, H crit rate attack or something like that, you know, to, because she needs the crit in order to activate her skill. Um, so she's she's definitely a little bit limited. With that being said, I think I think the water one might be comparable to her, depending on what you need, because she has really really good utility, like eighty percent um, armor break and sixty percent uh, sixty percent attack down is 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 super high. Like this is really really high. This is like Nat five level activation rate. Like no no other Nat four has this. Um, alright, this is the light one. Light one's an 80% seal and a 60% shock. Uh, is she tanky? She's... She's alright. Definitely has the best color scheme, though. Like, she, she definitely has the best color out of all the, uh, all the Kanas. Forgot to look at the variant one of the the wood one. They're all really good, except the fire one. The fire one's like complete garbage. Like they they need to fix petrify. Like petrify is so bad. Like fix petrify and thirst. You know what they should do? They should combine thirst and fatigue into one skill, and just like have it have both effects. Like you lose SP and like you can't gain any SP. Like that would actually be somewhat decent. And then, like, have, like, higher activation rate compared to all other skills for Thirst. So, like, Nat 4s automatically have, like, a 100% chance for, like, a two-turn Thirst. And then, like, Thirst stops them from getting SP at, at, at all. And also strains their SP by 20% every single turn. Like, that would actually be pretty good. Um, and then, like, all the Nat 5s that have Thirst have, like, a 100% chance to, like, land three, three turns of Thirst. Like, that, that would actually be pretty strong in PvP. And for Petrify, I don't know, like, I don't know, could just, just change it into, like, stun. Maybe they can make something unique with Petrify. Like, um, like, while you hit them, they don't take any damage on that turn. But, like, after the Petrify ends, they take double the damage while they were Petrified or some, some shit like that. That would be insane. Actually, that would be fucking OP. Never, never mind. That that would be that would be way too strong. Well, actually, there's a they could shield up afterwards, so like it, it might not be good. I don't know. That, that there there might be some uses to that. Anyways, talking about the light one, um, eighty percent seal, sixty percent shock. I guess it's all right for mid tier PVP, but like afterwards she i think she'll definitely fall off late game if you want her for collection purposes i i would understand because she does look really nice out of all the uh all the colors well, actually i haven't seen the dark one so i can't really say anything yet well at least she doesn't have blue hair i i you guys know how i feel about the blue hair on uh on variant dark monsters yeah they have the blue soul generation it's not a not a good leader skill but but they're good monsters. They they do they, they are actually pretty strong. Um, the dark one is basically like a dark version of the light snowy. However, he has I think she has the skills reversed. I think the snowy has like the great greatly restore on first skill. Is it? I'm not I'm not exactly sure. I, I can't remember. I'm gonna have to uh, go back and check. Oh, never mind. They have the same skill. Exact same skill. Alright, exact same skill. Pretty much almost the same stats. She has really good stats, like low recovery. Decent amount of defense and HP. 3,200 3, attack. Um, yeah, def definitely raise this one. Like, she's just, just raise this one. Well, actually, I don't know. If you have like a lo lot of other dark attackers you can use, she might not really be useful at all. But I do see her um, utility. Like you, you, I do see her being used 
on certain um in, in a lot of scenarios like i think i think she could be really good for people going into b10 like she can serve as your nuker and healer at the same time like that's that's really really good um but like a top 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 tier like speed b10 speed run team would not would not be running something like her um they'd be running like four light radices or some shit like that i, I still haven't built my radices but or even like just like light tank and like sappers on like full attack like that that will that will still be faster but i think like for progressing players um if you grab one of her you can use her as your healer in a lot of places plus if you don't have a lot of the dark attackers from before you can use her in your dark attacker offense as well so she's she definitely has that use as well um i'm probably gonna build a dark one if i if i am able to get it i probably will be able to get it um but yeah i think Maybe it's just I'm I'm just biased. I like I like dark monsters. All right. Um, she's also useful for like clan PvP because you know she's a dark attacker. Like there's there's nothing to say. There's nothing else to say. Like dark attackers are just OP. Like they're they're, they're rigged. Like dark attackers are just are, are just rigged. All right. That's that. Th there's nothing else to it. Um. All right. So. Yeah, we're we're done we're done reviewing the monsters. Let's uh let's let's actually test her out on like a random map. We'll go into like Star Sanctuary. Um, I think they in included a Jack and a Kana for um, for us to test out, so we can take a look at their animations and stuff. The Jack has been a long around for a long time, so I guess I guess there's not not much point. But we'll we'll test the Kana, see what see what she can do. Oh shit! I shouldn't I shouldn't have used my gins. They're gonna kill shit on like in one turn it's all right i'll stop the auto and have them all attack the same unit all right if you, any of you saw the video like she has amazing animation like when i first saw her i was like holy shit did they are they gonna make another uh premium like package monster but then i it said that she was like for rebirth like look at this animation like holy shit Oh shit, she might not get a full bar. Oh wait, we can we can we can make sure she gets a full bar. Oh shit, she didn't attack. Uh we'll just we'll just all attack the same unit. Come on please, I just just get your bar full like once. I just wanna see the Oh this is gonna hurt. Alright, uh Should I Alright, I don't think she's gonna die to the ghost. And maybe some red souls will go into her. Alright, please do not die to the ghost. I swear to god. Alright, alright, we're good. We're good. We good. Come on, get some blue souls. Alright, good, good. Um Hmm, this this is this is not this is not going too well. Alright, we'll 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 kill like one light. One light B will leave one alive. I don't think. Oh, she has a she has a lot of damage. Oh wait, she she has, she's got self heal. What am I worried about? All right, she'll she'll get her bar full, so we can. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to attack this one because they it taunted my Nike, and my Nike's gonna kill it. Oh wait, maybe not. Okay, nice. There we go. All right, next next wave we'll be be able to see her AOE. All right. All right, here we go, guys. For those of you that haven't seen this, like, didn't check Cafe Neighbor, this is this this is fucking amazing. Okay, this is fucking amazing. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I, I gotta say she's not very good for farming because like that that is the literally the slowest animation time I've seen like that it's like an eight second animation but it's it's worth it's so worth yeah she's an amazing monster like they they uh 
They've outdone themselves again. You can't, you can't go wrong with making another waifu. Like, there's, 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 there's <laughs> I, I have nothing for, but praise, okay? I have nothing but praise. Anyways, that, I think that's pretty much it. Um, back to farming now. Uh, the good thing is they, they have like a, they have one of these like secret dungeons for, for the jack this time as well. So like, I think this is really, really good for, for players that, you know, might not be able to farm as much. They can rely on their friends. Just make sure like, if you're serious about this event, like if you want to farm a lot of jacks, just uh, any any person that's inactive on your friends list, just, just remove them. They don't, they don't, uh, e even if you know that person in real life. You know, last time, last time um, during the Sarah event, I was like, I removed all my inactive friends and only kept the ones that are, that are farming so I can get as many secret dungeons as possible. I got a comment saying that, hey, I did the same thing, you know, I deleted everyone except my wife. Uh, like, I de deleted everyone that was ex inactive except for my wife and I was like, you should delete your wife. You should you should delete your wife, D delete your wife for your waifu. That's 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 all I can say. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.